See, I told you there were going to be an episode seven. So welcome to episode seven. I'm going to tell you all about the business that I run. So in the last episode, I kind of alluded that I'd be telling you about my merch store. My merch store is really not about me, but it's something that I've been doing for about 10 years now. My grandfather was Don O'Neill. He was an American Watercolor Society member, and he was a master watercolor artist from about the 1970s till his passing in 2007. He lived here in Riverside, California, but he was originally from Buffalo, New York. He painted all over the world, and he painted places that really interested him. And one thing I really like about much of what he painted was he painted my local community of Riverside in such a way where other artists did it periodically, but they never quite made the same impact that he did where he became known as a Riverside artist, which was a bit of a blessing and a curse because the blessing was, you know, he was well loved in the community, but also the community didn't realize that he went all over Europe. He went all over Latin America. He went all over uh, the world, really, and he painted all over. And what I think this really brings up to this, the modern world is that, you know, through Instagram marketing uh, that people are doing, it's really popularizing places that have always been really fascinating, but we don't really see much about. You know, I can even recall 10 years ago, you wouldn't expect to see much social media of Santorini, Greece, or Lisbon, Portugal. Now, these places have always been exotic places. These places have always been beautiful places, but it just really wasn't in the, the, the cultural, you know, the common culture. So what I do is I sell predominantly reproductions of his work. Now, how, how I changed the business since he's owned it, uh, was that I don't make limited editions like he did. He would sign it and limit them, so they're special collector's items. Mine aren't limited, so they're not priced like limited. Uh, and I've also made it to where a customer can order whatever they want on this entire catalog, uh, which is an online catalog. When he did it, you had to go in person. You can really only get what he had with him, as where I don't have to do that. For me, it's you've got 105 different ones in four different sizes. You pick whatever you want, UPS ships it right to you. So I run this business for two big reasons. One, my grandfather's legacy depends on people taking his body of work and keeping it in the public conscious and then expanding on it. I mean, most people don't realize how many paintings he painted and they may be only familiar with, you know, 10 or 20. Maybe his big fans are familiar with 50 paintings. He painted over 3,000. So this is a way of keeping his art alive and making him the historical figure that I feel he deserves. And that, that really can only be done this way. It can be done no other way. And the other way is I've always run, wanted to run a small business. And so here I have my product and here I have my, my goal of keeping my grandfather alive so it works out for me. So I've done quite a bit to modernize it. And um, you know from that comes this idea of affiliates. And this is like the new thing I'm, I, I'm tr I've been trying to get into for the last couple of years. You need to find the right people though. And I think there's probably the right people here on this format. So what I'm looking to do is I'm looking to work with nonprofits and social media influencers who I think would probably be a good pairing for my grandfather's art. I actually, when I created the original prices, I figured I'd be paying commissions to people, but I didn't quite have a model for how the, the salespeople would actually work. And with our website, dononeal.com, which you should all go check out, by the way, we have a wonderful little thing where people can input a coupon code and receive a discount and this allows me to track that discount to an influencer or to a nonprofit and then allows me to compensate them and I'm thinking to myself my grandfather during his life supported many nonprofits by donating things so early in my business I actually did make a couple donations I actually made several to various nonprofits who asked for them my policy was more or less any local Riverside nonprofit who came to me I was going to give them something and what ended up happening was I was getting people asking and they were saying, oh, it's good exposure, but I didn't really get the return business from their supporters. And I understand that they're very busy, but at the same time, it's not really sustainable. So we wanted to come up with a sustainable model where I could support people, but then get business in return. And what we're doing is we're flipping it instead of me supporting a nonprofit and hopefully they send me customers when their supporters buy from me, I donate to the nonprofit. And what this actually allows, this actually allows a much, much larger volume of donations, far larger than I could have ever just done by just me giving. And this allows supporters to tell their friends about this program where their friends can support both the nonprofit and my business and with my greater goal of keeping my grandfather alive. 
So if you represent a nonprofit or you sit on a board of a nonprofit or there's some nonprofit that you support, there's a very good chance if it's in the Riverside area that I actually have this program already made with your nonprofit where you can support them financially by buying prints through me using their coupon code. Now, while I'd love to tell you what their coupon code is, I'd much rather you ask them. I'm including a link below that actually outlines a little bit more how the affiliate program works. Just understand, I want to work with you. And if you feel my grandfather's art is a match for your audience or your supporters, let's work together. Or if you want to support your local favorite nonprofit, what you can do is get a hold of them, have them contact me through dononeal.com, and what I'll do is issue them a coupon code. The coupon code will get you 10% off, and a donation will be made to the uh, to the nonprofit for you. It's really, good. it's a good win-win. So if you don't want to give me money, you can also give them money. So I want to be a little clear. What am I looking for with the, an affiliate? Regarding the nonprofit, more or less anyone, I, I'm pretty open about that. For social media, it's a little bit different. There's lots of different types of people. I'm looking for someone who would be fairly compatible with the art that my grandfather painted. If you're curious, this may be you. Take a look at the catalog at dononeal.com and just see does the kind of content you produce have something to do with the art. It could be locations. If you're based out of Orange County, Laguna Beach, I would think that would be great. I've got great stuff of Sedona, great stuff of Europe. So if you're a travel blogger, that may work. If you're an interior design blogger, that may work. Uh, if you're not sure, please contact me anyway. Riley at DonO'Neill.com. We'll see if we can work it out. I'd rather have a discussion that goes nowhere than not have a discussion that could have gone somewhere. So if you're on Instagram, give me a follow on there, Riley O'Neill. I still am doing daily posts on there. And also check out my grandfather's art at Don O'Neill Watercolor. I both try to post something four times a week. It's pretty good. You can uh, learn a lot about his art on there. So anyway, I will see you for episode eight. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. And uh, if you don't like it, just like it anyway. And if you're not really a fan, you could subscribe anyway. It's, it's all free. It's not like it costs you any money to like or subscribe. But if you subscribe, it's kind of good for me. and. It, kicks me in the pants to make more videos so i'll have something for you uh, soon i don't know what yet but that's the whole point of this a mandate to create something every day or almost every day you know i bet you could say like days were like three days long i'm doing something every three days but i'm working on every day